Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert's Tuesday Tip. So, when I was out in Vegas, I talked to the Trimble guys about making some kind of a converter inside of Access that we could take a Survey Pro job and convert it to an Access job. Well, maybe someday, but it sounds like they are pretty hooked up and that's not going to happen. So, I thought what I would do is I would show you guys how to convert these files using Terminal Business Center. Now don't get excited. You don't have to go out and spend $4,000 for a copy of the software just to convert the, uh, the files, your, your Survey Pro job files over to Access job files. You can download the free version of Terminal Business Center and you can go in there and drop the files in and export the files out and I'll show you how to do it. So what we're gonna do right quick is I want to, um, I just want to get some shots and um, I just want to get some shots so we can bring them in. <coughs> so what I've got is Survey Pro like 5.8 or something like that on this data collector. So what I did is I went out and grabbed the Survey Pro data collector and I grabbed a uh, uh, R8S's. So I thought this would be a little bit more real world and I used 5.8 because that is pretty close to the version where they added the RADSs. So I thought this would be a good, you've got old survey profiles and you want to convert those to access or to origin. So I thought this would be good and I didn't have any job files on my computer. So I'm out here in the wind in the cold, just for you guys, doing this for you guys, freezing to death, runny nose, wind blowing. So uh, I just want to show you guys how to convert these files because I know I've got a few people that have switched over to Access and they're having that issue right now themselves. So I just uh, thought I'd jump out here, get a few shots and today is Tuesday should have done this yesterday i got tied up with a bunch of stuff wasn't able to do it honestly i don't have time to do it right now i should be on the computer helping some people with some stuff but <laughs> if i don't uh, get it done it's going to be dark on us and then that ain't going to work out so well so and not to mention the fact it'll be colder right so um i was going to do this yesterday afternoon and it started raining on me, so I wasn't able to get it done. So just a few more shots, just so we got something to look at. And we'll take it in there, and uh, we'll convert it in Business Center, and we'll see what it looks like. And yes, I am currently using the Insta360 camera that some of you saw me carrying around at, uh, at Dimensions that you guys were asking about. Um, it's actually a pretty cool little camera. It uh, would be cool to use it, you know, if I was wanting to post some social media stuff, some videos on Instagram or something like that. You can actually process everything in your phone if you wanted to but i use the desktop software okay last one i'm about to turn into a popsicle so let's go in here and see if uh if we can convert these files from survey pro over to access or over to origin and we'll see how that works i've got both so we can try it and see what happens okay so we just shot all that stuff out there in the driveway. Now I'm gonna show you how to take it from um, a Survey Pro survey file to a, um, or actually I think it's, this this is an old enough version. It may be a Survey Pro dot job file. I'm gonna show you how to bring it in to access, or not into access, yes, I'm gonna show you how to bring it into access, but first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to bring it into Business Center. Okay, so the thing about Business Center is, I do not have my license plugged in. So I actually have the old school dongle hardware lock right here. That's the big one, because I've had mine forever. 
I don't I didn't get one of those cute little plastic things the full pelican cases for mine because I've had mine way before those came out okay so <clears throat> let's go in here and load up Terminal Business Center so um, I've got an older version of Survey Pro on this data collector but the reason for that is because I figure you you're going to have older Survey Pro job files that you're going to want to convert over to an access file right so you've you know, decide to go ahead and bite the bullet and get Origin or get, um, you know, um, Access or whatever. And you've got all these old job files and you're like, how in the world am I going to convert them? Well, it would be nice if Trimble had been kind of on their toes and um, would have, um, you know, built some kind of converter in Access or something so you could bring a job file in and convert it, but they didn't. So, we got to do it the hard way. So, you're going to download, you're going to go to, if Excel, let's just look at this real quick. Let me do this. If I just Google Trimble Business Center, download Trimble Business Center. So, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go in, you're going to say, download the latest version. When you do, it is going to pull my internet is slow tonight. It is going to ask you your name, blah, blah, blah. If you do not want to be bothered with a sales guy calling you down here at the bottom, if it says, do you have a current software license, say yes. Or it's going to ping me or ping somebody in your territory and you're going to be getting a phone call because Trimble's going to send out a lead on Business Center. So... Just, just say yes, you got it. Unless you, and if you want to find out more about Business Center, ask me. How's that? So anyways, you're going to do that. When you do that, they're going to send you an email. So you're going to be looking in your email. Watch your junk box. Sometimes mine lands there. But watch your email. You'll get an email, and it'll say um, that you know you can download. It gives you a link to download uh, Terminal Business Center. So to do this, you don't need a license in order to do what I'm fixing to show you. So you can download this for free, install it on your computer at the office, convert the files that you want to convert. Unfortunately, we have to do them one at a time. I don't know a better way to do it, but just do them as needed, I guess. So uh, let me get out of here. You know how to do that now. So okay. Now then, I am going to go to U.S. Survey Foot Scale Only, and I hit the default button, so it defaults to that um, template. And I think I got a, I started a TBC 101. Um, I've kind of pulled back on that a little bit. I'll explain that in a later video. But um, I do, I think I did put something on there about a template for uh, TBC that you guys may want to look at. So I'm going to say, okay. So it's going to create the project. Now then, it creates this grid. Now, you've probably heard me complain about this before. There's a little bitty icon down the bottom. Maybe there's a way to make these icons bigger, but I'm not exactly sure. So, I just go down here, click, lower right hand corner down here at the bottom. Little bitty icon, shows grid. I just get rid of it. Okay, so, <clears throat> the way I've got mine set up from years past is when I plug in a TSC3 or a Ranger 3 or anything else, I get this pane on the right hand side that um, it's the device manager pane. Yes, device Devices, direct connection, but it's, I get, connects me straight up with, with the mobile device center to the data collector. Anyways, so if I go to Survey Pro and I open it, I'm going to find a um, Survey Pro to access. Now then, if you bring this over with your, um, uh, da, 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 like, jump drive or something like that, right? You, you bring it over any way you want to. Just drop it straight into access. When you do, it's going to read... Why do I keep saying access? You're going to drop it into Business Center. i got too many programs going on in my head. Okay, we're going to drop it into Business Center. Here it is. Boom. You're going to see all the vector lines and everything attached. Okay, so you're not worried about this because you're just wanting to get this to another data collector. So I am going to window everything. I'm going to go up here to export. Not the pull down below it. Up here at the top, there's like two buttons right there. Okay. That one's export format editor. You don't want that. You just want the export up here at the top. 
you're going to come over to survey and you're going to scroll down until you find Trimble Access Job File Exporter. That's the one you're looking for. So what I'm going to do to make this a little bit easier on us is I'm going to say File, Save As, and I'm going to call this, um, let's just call it SP to Access. SP to Access. Save. Okay. So now, let me back up. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go to export again. Keep losing my mouse. Okay, so now you're going to see it says sp to access dot job. Okay, it's populated. It's going to put it in the directory, and I'll show you where that's at. So we've selected all those shots, and I'm going to export it out. Um, file version that should be let's just go whatever general survey version you've got I'm going to say 2210 which is going to be the latest you know what I don't think I have that emulator on here let's back it up to where it was about 20 2110 is probably about right so we're going to say export so if I go to here Trimble Business Center I go to documents Trimble Business Center SP to access open it up there is my job file right there I'm going to copy that and on your data collector you can go and in, in Trimble Access you can go to job data file explorer and it'll take you to the same place I'm fixing to take you so it will take you to um, C Drive C Drive I'm going to program data I'm going down to Trimble somewhere. Trimble. Okay, in my case, I'm going to go to this emulator. Trimble Data. Projects. Field work. There's all my jobs in there. I'm going to say paste. So I'm going to paste it in there. So now I'm going to go to Trimble Access. Let me look here. I think I've got... 202201 in there which is general survey 22.00 I may be in trouble I may not have went back far enough it says it's in there open SP to access open okay it's asking for a project height um, project height is your ellipsoid height so basically what that is just say like 22 to 27 meters below your elevation, right? So you have your ellipsoid and your geoid together make your orthometric height. So they're asking for height, which is your ellipsoid height. This is so access can calculate basically between like grid and ground and stuff like that. So I'm just going to say 200 is close enough for me. I'm going to say accept. And there's my points. So I brought those into access. So if we go and look, Job data, file explorer, see what I mean? It brings you into the same spot. Um, there's the jobs, just FYI. And uh, if I go to uh, point manager, there's my points. There's when I brought them in. It's all that good stuff. If I go and look at my job and SP to access, I'm going to go to properties. Right now it's set on local site because I wasn't able to put that project in there. Okay, So I could go in, select from library, I know what it's supposed to be. So let's go down to, will you let me grab that? It would be a lot easier if it did. How about I just use the arrow on the keyboard. And go set my project to... Go in here and we'll say M for Mississippi, Mississippi East. Use geoid model. Ah, I don't have a geoid model loaded. Oh, there it is. Okay, I got geoid model. Project type 200. Enter, store, accept, and open. Okay, so now everything is like it should be. Okay, so now if I went back and I looked at my project under SP to access properties, 
everything is exactly like it should be. So let's go and make sure. Um, so let's look at some coordinates here. Let's look at, um, there's 100. Let's click right here. Properties. And then if I go here and we look, so uh, 36, 221, 83, 859, 2015.944. Okay, so now everything is exactly like it should be. So if you had a license at Business Center, you could just go up there to uh, your local site stuff. Uh, local site settings and we could set our height but didn't say it was going to be easy and I would really like for Trimble to put a converter in access or in origin one or in both would be great so that I can bring this job file over to um, to either one of them so since access and origin are pretty much the same thing so that my friends is how you're going to have to export out your job files and bring them in now another way is I could if I wanted to right here I could go back to home I could go back to export I could go to custom and I could go to northern elevation uh, northern easting elevation and code and I could export those out as a CSV file the job exporter we looked at a while ago, you can't get to because of the license. So they're not making it easy on you <laughs> to convert it. So <clears throat> this, to me, is the best way to do it. If, you, if you've if you got, I, I've had this stuff in my computer for so long, I don't know if this is something I built or it came with it. I think it comes with it. I think it comes automatically in Business Center, but I'm not 100% sure of that. Maybe you guys could ping me and let me know. Um, but if you could use that, that would actually export it as a CSV file with those points. Or like I said, take it to access the other way. Didn't say it was going to be easy, but that's how you can do it. You can get it done. You're not stuck. Okay. So, um, man, uh, <laughs> heck of a Tuesday tip, huh? So, um, got a lot of things planned, a lot of things I want to put together for you guys. I've been meaning to get this out for like a month, and I just haven't been able to get it done. So I got that out. Um, I put a podcast up. Um, Colt Ratliff, Kevin Rainey, my Mississippi sales guy, and um, myself, we did a little podcast about Trimble Dimension. So uh, it's on Spotify. I saw it on Apple. Uh, I didn't put it on YouTube. Um, I, I just wasn't able to get the cameras put together. Colt and I have decided we're going to try to get something done every week. We've said this before, but we are both so incredibly busy, it's hard to do. But we're going to try to get something. It may not be anything that spectacular, but get something out there anyway. So, guys, hope this helps. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, you can ping me you know, on Facebook or on YouTube or whatever. And... Um, let me know if you have any questions, if I need to do it, like a follow-up of this, because, um, like I said, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it can be done. So, as always, God bless. Take care of you guys. Uh, take care of yourselves. Um, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, as soon as I come up with an idea for another one. Take care.